And one thing that kind of scares me a little bit about the Steelers and even our hometown Browns, and I may be going against my mentor on this one, but Lady Luck uh, <laughs> planted herself very firmly on the side of both Cleveland and Pittsburgh last season. In five games, let me see here, decided by three or less points, the Browns win a perfect 5-0. and oh. So you got to expect some sort of regression on that front, the fact that they even went 6-2 and two straight up in games that were decided by seven or less points. That was on the Brown side. And as for the Steelers, uh, nine of their ten wins came by seven or less points last year. In 11 games decided by seven or fewer points, Pittsburgh went nine and two. I have to think there's going to be regression on both sides. I got Cincinnati winning the division, and I like the current odds. I've got them going 11 and six. I've got Baltimore going 10 and seven. I got Pittsburgh nine and eight. I got Cleveland even at eight and nine. And again, I might be going against Mark on this one, but that's the way I feel. One more thing about the Browns before I throw it back to you guys. What a uh, a, a interesting team from an over under perspective last year. Cleveland home games went two six and one over under seventy five percent under the total. Only thirty six point two combined points per game when Cleveland was at home last year. But when they took to the road, they were perfect for over betters. All eight of their regular season road games went over the total last year. 54.0 combined points per game. That's amazing. Wow. That's 18 more points per game were scored in Cleveland Road games than were scored at home last year. So with that said, we go under when Cleveland's at home. We go over when they are on the road. Uh, Cincinnati has been a very good under team. Again, in the first month of the season, they've gone 2-10 and 10 over under in the last three years. Pittsburgh as well, 3-9 and nine to the under in their last three years in games one through four of the season. So in addition to what we said in regards to the division, we'll also take a look at Steeler and Bengal unders in the first month of the season. My most disappointing team in this division, I think, will be the Baltimore Ravens. And uh, largely because I am not a huge Lamar Jackson fan. I know those guys won MVP awards and he's done this and he's done that. But you look at his home road dichotomy. Now, I'll share these with you guys. At home in his career, he's 31 and 12 outright and 18, 24 and 1 to the spread. On the road, he's 28 and 11 outright and 25, 12 and 2 to the spread. So he wins all his money on the road and he burns it at home. But look at the schedule that they're playing this year for the Baltimore Ravens. Their road games this year are going to be at Kansas City, at Dallas, at Cincinnati, at Tampa Bay, a playoff team last year, at the Cleveland Browns at the Pittsburgh Steelers, at the L.A. Chargers, who will be vastly improved this year, at the New York Giants, and at Houston, another playoff team last year. They're going to go up against Murderer's Row, taking to the road this year of the Baltimore Ravens. They're going to have to take care of business at home because I think you're going to trip up on the road. And also, you look at Lamar Jackson. In his career, he's just 27-18 and 18 outright against Teams that are, don't have a losing record, 500 or better foes. He struggles against the good teams, and he plays – uh, pretty good against the guys that don't perform well. I'm going to make them the last place team and shock the world. I think Baltimore will be deeply disappointed this year. 